Hello, and welcome to another video tutorial from the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning at Oklahoma City University. In this video, I will show faculty how they can locate their Microsoft Teams meeting URL link and share that with their students within their course in D2L. So first, open up your web browser and navigate to ocuonline.okcu.edu. Log in using your Oklahoma City University credentials. These are the same username and password you use to check your university email. Once you've logged in, you should see your course, uh, I'm sorry, the D2L homepage. Just simply navigate to the course in question. You can click the waffle icon, for example, and then search for your course. I'm going to click on my title there, right there, okay? And have this ready to go for later. Then I'm going to open up my Microsoft Teams. You can do this in the web app or in the actual computer app installed on your computer. So here's my computer app. You can see, for example, that tomorrow I have a demo meeting. This is a scheduled meeting that I created in a previous tutorial. So let's assume that this is your scheduled live synchronous session that you have created in Microsoft Teams. You and your students will see this in your calendar, assuming that you created this Microsoft Teams by using the Microsoft Teams connector widget in your D2L course. Please consult the video tutorial on how to create your Microsoft Team using the connector widget in D2L. Um, so assuming you've done that, you and your students will see this in your calendar. If you would like to go ahead and find the link that you can share with the student, there's a couple of different ways to do that. If you click on the schedule meeting in your calendar, you will see this copy link feature right here. And this only copies the URL link itself. So you could click on that. It'll change to a checkbox. And then I'm going to come back over here to my course and then I could go to a course announcement, create a new course announcement. And then and then paste that link in there. OK, that's one way you do it. Like that, right? <clears throat> that's one way you can do that and then click publish and then it's that same link. It's in your calendar. And if you set it to reoccur every week, um, then you can use that same link and post it into a course announcement like this and be good to go. So if you publish it, it'll be there, right? So how do you make sure that it's a reoccurring meeting for every week and not just a, a one-off meeting? So if you look in your calendar where you created the meeting to begin with, you click it and then click on edit. There's an option right here that says does not repeat. If you would like to set this up as a reoccurring scheduled meeting for every week, have the same link each week, and you teach on Mondays and Wednesdays at, say, 1.30, you could click this option right here that says does not repeat. Click the drop down arrow. We're going to change that to weekly. And let's say, for example, it's on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm going to click Monday. And you notice my Tuesday is still highlighted by default. I'm just going to click on it. That goes away. And then I'm going to click on Wednesday. So now I have two circles. And it says that this occurs every Monday and every Wednesday, starting because of my demonstration purposes, starting tomorrow. Uh, we could change that to say, hey, you know, obviously we're going to start this next week. There we go. So occurs every Monday and Wednesday starting on next Monday. Um, if I wanted it to start tomorrow, I could. I could say, hey, 
you know, today's the 22nd. Let's go ahead and start on this next Wednesday. You could do it that way. So it occurs every Monday and Wednesday. Click save. And just notice my time is coming from here. My date is coming from here of when the next occurrence is. But I'm saying it occurs every Monday and every Wednesday at that time. Okay. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see within the details of your team meeting, you have this section right here, which is really helpful, right? So you can basically highlight all of this, you know, copy and paste, copy that. And I'm gonna say, send the updates, right? Okay, so send the update that updates my, my scheduled meeting. So now it's gonna show On the days that I said, see, there it is right there, demo meeting with Jesse, and then it'll show up in the following week. Okay. Yep. Awesome. So that information I just copied, I can come over here and I can also post that into a course announcement and it looks a little bit neater. So let's say, for example, I want to replace that hyperlink with that. See, that's the information I copied in that previous step. That's, um, I can erase some redundant stuff I already typed. There we go. And yeah, there you go. There's the there's the link to join. If they want to call in using their phone, they could do that as well. You can share a scheduled Microsoft Teams meeting in your course in D2L.